2016, my objections to Trump were character based and they were sort of looking at the state of the world and saying, I just object to this choice. I didn't vote for Hillary. I'm not voting for Trump. That was my take in 2016. So I just didn't vote for president at the top of the ticket in, in 2016 at all, hoping to sort of forestall the binary world that then arrived. Now, one of the things that I was wrong about with regard to Trump is obviously he governed much more to my liking in terms of actual policy than I thought he would based on his campaign. His campaign in 2016 was sort of all over the place. It was quite peripatetic. It was it was, you know, in one place on, on an issue and then five minutes later, another place on the same issue. But the actual policy that emerged from his administration, particularly in the first three years of his administration, I liked quite a lot. And so obviously I was wrong about all of that. My character critiques of Trump remained. Those have not changed. Even when I endorsed him in 2020, I suggested that my opinions of his character had not shifted particularly much. It was just that my belief was that we were now down to a binary choice, that many of the eventualities I'd hoped to forestall 